Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. Uh, this is a short video to show you how to use a file open dialog box from a Python program. I find this useful for command line or terminal programs so I don't have to specify the file name and the argument. And if I don't know the file or where it is, I can use the file dialog to search my system to find the file I want my program to work on. So uh, we're going to use a module that comes with Python called tkenter. Uh, and we're going to import it. And then we're going to also import another module inside of it called File Dialog. We can use this command to import both modules at the same time. So tkenter is a full GUI for doing programs in Python that are, are regular GUI programs. Um, but we're going to use it just for uh, the command line so we don't want a main window. So normally when you open a main window in, uh, in a GUI uh, you have a, a main window and then dialogs are attached to that or associated with it. So we want to actually hide that window. So we have to have two commands to do that. First we create a main window calling the uh, constructor for tk under tk enter and that gives us a main window we're just going to call root and then we're going to call, call root.withdraw which basically hides the window from us. And to show you what it does if you don't do this I'll leave this off for now. Uh, so then we just need one command, tkenter.filedialog.ask open file name with no parameters, and that's going to open the dialog, ask us for a file name, or just search for a file name inside a particular folder. And then it when it returns, it's going to return a file name. Now if it if the user cancels saying I don't want to open a file, this file name will be an empty string. So I'm going to print out the file name here and surround it with quotes so you can see the string it returns. So let's go ahead and run it. And you see here's the file dialog. Uh, and it turns out it will open it to wherever your last place was. So if I'm in uh, my Dropbox area, it would open it there. And uh, it allows you to pick a file. So if I pick a file here, and I hit open, it's going to return the path to where that file is. Uh, this is the main window that you don't want to see, uh, so that's what withdrawal will cause that to disappear. So let's go ahead and c go ahead and run this. So it returns the full path to the file I chose. Uh, so let's put that back in, and we'll run it. and you see this time uh, it came back to where I was uh, if I choose a different file and hit cancel see what that does it gives me an empty string so that's its basic operation now there's some other ones you can call in the file dialog module besides ask open file uh, file name there's some other useful ones one is ask open file names this allows you to open more than one file so if I put S here and I do that. Uh, it's going to, and we pick several files, so I'm going to go into the project I'm using and I'm going to ask it to open all these files. Uh, so in multiple file dialogs you, uh, you use shift if you want to select a range of files and you can use uh, command or uh, control on a uh, Windows or Linux to select multiple uh, individual files. So that'll open two individual files. So the return is different. Uh, it actually returns a tuple. So now I get an error because it won't convert the tuple to a string. So let me take out my quote marks and show you how that works again. And we'll select uh, this file, uh, and this file, and this file, three files open and uh, you can see it returned uh, all three files as strings inside of a tuple. So it's a tuple with three string elements in it for each file. So that's how file names works. Now there's more information here in this if you go to the standard Python docs and look up uh, TK enter and file dialog you can get that and that takes you to this uh, place here. So uh, this is the file dialog uh, things you can call in tkenter. And they have named parameters you can use. So you can specify the uh, different parent window, for example. 
uh, you can specify the title of the window, the initial directory, which is very useful, which is what dialog, uh, when it opens, what f uh, directory should it start in. So this is something you might want to specify, otherwise it just kind of picks whatever, wherever it last was. Um, and uh, for saving a file, you can specify the initial file to select and the default extension for the save. And uh, if you're doing uh, just the single file dialog box, you can specify multiple as a parameter. So instead of calling the multiple file uh, plural, you can just say multiple equals true. And uh, so let's go. And there's also a lot of other methods I didn't go into. So you can read about these. This ask open file would do what we just looked at, but instead of returning a string, it would actually open the file in read mode and return a file uh, handle. So it would open the file for you. So you can look for, look at all this documentation here if you want. So let's go back to uh, one that uses some of the name parameters. So this one I have is going to open up and use the uh, filters parameter. So uh, filters parameter w normally works this way, and it works this way in Windows and on uh, Linux. You give it a, a tuple or a list of pairs of strings. So each pair of string has a description and a filter. And the filter can be like star dot star would pick all files. Uh, star dot jpg G would pick up only files that had this extension. Uh, so these filters are the same filters that were first introduced in MS-DOS that I know about, where star matches a, a one half of the file name. Um, now if you want to open up a, a, for pictures multiple patterns, you separate the pattern with a semicolon. Now here's a note, on a Mac you replace the semicolons with spaces. So if I want to open up pictures on a Mac I would do it this way. But the other thing on a Mac is you can only specify one uh, of these choices. So you'd have to remove this choice here. So since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to make those changes. So I'm going to uh, remove one of the pairs. I have to keep the comma in here so it still has a tuple within a tuple list. And then I'm going to take this out and put a space. So this would open up. Uh, and show me any pictures. So that's how you do it on a Mac. You can only have one pair and between the patterns you use a space for multiple patterns. Uh, so we're going to also specify where we're going to open up the initial directory. So you have to, on a Mac you have to specify an absolute path. I think on Linux you can specify a tilde or a dot or a dot dot uh, and that may also work in Windows. I haven't tested it. So I'm going to specify the initial directory and what filters to use, and then I'll print the result. So let's go ahead and run this. So uh, it went to PY Charm Projects, so it did, that's where I told it to go. So I could have opened it in Documents or somewhere else, and I'm going to open up my uh, PyCharm directory that I'm using. And it notice it only shows me the picture files, which is what I told it. So if I pick a picture file and hit open, and it returns a string to which file I chose. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this, and I hope it's useful to you.